the slide changes the length of the pipe. So as the, the pipe gets longer, the sound gets lower. And as the slide comes up, the pipe gets shorter, and so the sound gets higher. Which creates, on the trombone, something called a glissando which composers use um, for serious pieces, for serious effects, and also some composers use for joke effects. The slide on the trombone really replaces the valves on a trumpet or a euphonium or a tuba. So if you put the second valve down on a trumpet or a euphonium, then it's second position on the trombone. First valve would be third position, first and second would be fourth position, second and third would be fifth position, one and three would be sixth position, and all three down would be seventh position. Now how you know where those positions are um, is rather the same as how you know where the pedals are when you drive a car, or when you're at your computer you know where the letters are. It's called muscular memory. Your fingers are. Yeah. If you do it often enough, then you your muscles remember where they are. If you, even I think I think it works with any instrument you play with the piano. The pianist doesn't have to look at the keys to know where he or she 